It's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today planning in my classic size happy planner for the week of July 8th through the 14th. So this is going to be a fun video because it's actually a collab with Tina underscore plants. Um, so I have her name popped up here and I'm going to link her channel down below so you can check out her video. Um, what our collab theme is, is actually the farmhouse sticker book. So I'm really excited. So just a little background about Tina. She had been planning in an Erin Condren and has recently switched over to Happy Planner and she has the farmhouse sticker book. So when we were chatting about the collab, I said we should use a farmhouse and she has it and that's what we are going to do. So I love this sticker book, really excited about it. Um, so for the collab, we have to use the bulk of our stickers from this sticker book, but we can pull in washi or if we need to pull in icons, that sort of thing. But the, ba the base of the spread has to be farmhouse. So like I said, we can pull in washi, so I'm going to. I have these three five millimeter rolls from Simply Gilded. They are actually from one of her sub boxes. It was the Desert Dance, but... I just feel like these colors match perfectly. Well, okay, I don't feel um, they do match perfectly. I had taken the, because I also have it in a 10 millimeter bow, um, and I swatched it up against here, and it was literally the identical shade. So that is why I am going with that. I don't know if I'll actually use that sticker, though, but at least I know that these are the match. So I'm going to go ahead and get these laid down. I'm going to do the pink and the blue as headers for the morning and the evening. Um, I'm a chronological planner, by the way. So I organize my boxes into morning, afternoon, and evening. So I'm going to be putting them here. Okay, that didn't quite work at all. Okay. And then this one is a an inverted foil. So that means that instead of the shooting stars being the rose gold foil, it's actually the background is foiled and the shooting stars are not foiled. I don't know if I'm going to like this. The jury is still out for my opinion on these rolls. So I'm going to put it in the middle because if I need to switch it out to something else, I will switch it to this beige color, which has gold bows. So just since it'll be different and it's bows, I want it to be in the middle if I end up switching. So I'm going to go ahead and get that laid down. I don't think I'm going to put anything down at the bottom just because there is a quote. And I typically don't like to cover quotes that are pre-printed on my pages. So I'll probably leave that. But let me get these down and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I have the washi down. Um, I did put down the inverted foil and I'm leaving it for now. If I change my mind, it'll be later. But I at least wanted to give it a good shot. Wow, look at it glowing. Okay, maybe I do like it. I, I just, one of the things I love about foil is just how it glows. So maybe I approve. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is, oh, that is a sticker. Let me move it out of my way onto my tripod in a different spot. So with the farmhouse sticker book, there are some stickers that are like photography stickers and then some that are not. So like here, it's kind of drawn. This is a pattern with words. And I'm actually not terribly sure which way I want to go with it. Um, I know I probably should have figured that out, but like they're both like both types of stickers are so pretty. So it really is kind of hard to make that sort of decision. And then there's also these that we have. So it just, yeah, it makes it very hard to decide what to do. And I kind of want to use some of these because I've only ever used one of these, but I've used quite a few of the blank ones. So I think I'm going to end up going that route. And let me see. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I had to find the page and I figured you didn't want to see me flipping through every single page on camera. Um, I'm going to take some of these boxes for my checklist for the week 
and incorporate these headers. So I'm going to use my washi cutter, <laughs> my technical term for this card, my washi cutter, and I'm going to stick it there. And let's see, where do I want my main checklist? And I think what I'll do is I think I'll use the brown, like the burlap pattern. And I definitely need one on Monday. Now, I actually am considering putting a full box sticker on Monday morning, which is something I don't usually do. But yeah, maybe if I don't put it on Monday morning, maybe I'll put it up on Tuesday morning just so I have something different. So Monday is going to be my cleaning list. I like to get all of my like deep cleaning and everything like that done on Monday. This way, I don't feel pressure throughout the rest of the week. It's it just works for me. So we're going to put that there. Now, Friday, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get stuff cleaned. There's a lot of stuff going on on Thursday. All right, so we are going to just go ahead and do it on Friday. I have a dentist appointment in the morning, but it's 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm debating putting this up here just so that I have something here instead of keeping it completely symmetrical. But I think I will just go ahead and no, no, just do something different just so that it is something different. And then what I will end up doing is I'm going to take, and I think we'll do like that peachy color. I think the peach color. No, we'll go with the brown. So I'm going very heavy on the browns right now. But this we are going to go ahead and put on Thursday so that I have an extra checklist, even though I just said that I don't want to put a checklist over there because I'm really busy on Thursday. But now I have a checklist here. So yeah, that's that actually isn't that bad. I think I can manage with that. But that one isn't going to need a header. So that'll work. Now what I'm going to do. I want to bring a little bit more of the blue onto this page, but I don't want to use a pink header here, and I don't know if I necessarily want to use two blues. Maybe I do. Yeah, you know what? I am going to necessarily use two blues. And again, I'm actually going to offset the header so I can see a look so I can see more of the burlap because I really just I like that burlap. Um, but also I just, I like the dimension that it gives you to offset things and just make it different. So clearly something is not straight over here, but I'm going to just try to look past that. All right. So we've got a nice functional base down. Actually, this is working out really well. Um, Tuesday, I saw a sticker somewhere. I want to do something fun with the kids. Let's see. Enjoy today. Oh, but I have pink up there. Hmm. Let's see. Are there any other headers? Uh, those won't do. So what I want to do with the kids, is, and I might just take this my mantra and then put that header over top of it if I don't find a different header. Um, I want to try to do something fun with them. So Tuesday it seems like it's going to be a sort of decent day by me. Um, it's going to be pretty hot, but I think I think we'll be able to manage. I want to take them to the wildlife center thing that's over by us. So it's a like it's a park, but then they also have like an inside place where you can discover and learn things about the animals of the area. I hope that I have not missed any headers. Oh man, I need to focus. Okay, I flipped through the rest of the book and focus. I don't think I saw anything. So I am going to take this My Mantra sticker and I'm going to just go ahead with the Enjoy Today because why not? So I'm going to, actually I will offset it going this way again. And I guess I could have dropped it down a little lower so that it's not right on top of each other, but that's okay. And then just make sure that it covers up my mantra. So now we have a box for the nature center. All right, this is nice. This video is just kind of cruising along. 
Um, one of the things that I want to do though, um, I don't have any decorations yet. So I'm going to take that coffee sticker because I just can't help myself. I'm going to take it and I want to put it on Sunday because I just feel like that's a good place to put. I don't need an inspirational quote. I need coffee. Um, I almost feel like it would have done better down here just to keep it spread out from this foil because it's so dark. But I'm not going to put a coffee, like coffee quote, down at night because I cannot have coffee at night. It's, yeah, it would not be a good thing for me. So I'm going to put it up on Sunday morning. Do I want to do that? I could do a washi. No, I'm not going to do a washi banner. I'm going to go ahead and just stick it over here. I am going to, do I really want to offset it? No, I don't think I'm going to offset it. I think I'm just going to keep it in line because I don't want to cover up more of this washi since I've already covered it here. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this looks good. If it doesn't look good, I can always just get out my undo and reposition the sticker. I actually kind of like that because it almost blends in with the washi down here. Very pretty. And by the way, I chose the rose gold colors because, like for the washi, because the foil in the sticker book is rose gold. So that was that. Let's see, what else do I need to do? All right, I definitely want to bring in another full box. The thing is, I know I'm going to need more space to put in plans over here, but I want this floral sticker. There's just something about it. I think it will look really good. So I'm going to end up putting it down here, I do believe, because that'll, that should keep everything balanced pretty well. So here's what I'm going to do in the meantime. I want to get my videos marked down. And let's see. This is what I normally use to mark my videos, these little wreaths in either the colors or the foils. I have five videos again that I'm, I have so many great ideas for videos and I'm trying to make sure that I get them all in while it's still like relevant. So, like one of them is a haul and then the other one is going to probably be a summer filler paper spread. So obviously I need to get those in because it's the second week of July. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go with the colorful ones. Okay, sorry. I felt the sneeze coming on. Never happened. Anyway, I'm going to go with the colorful ones. So we've got a beige, a couple of the pinks, and a blue. I don't want to use the greens or this black one. I don't know why it's black. There's really no black stickers in here. It's all like that brownish beige-ish color. So let's see. I need one for Monday. I'm going to go with a pink and I'm going to put it down in the evening. Even though it's actually quite likely that the video will go up prior to the evening because I've just been doing a pretty good job of getting my videos up lately. So we're going to put that one there. Let's see. There's. Yeah, no, the pink will do good over here. I think I might just have to go with like that brownish because there's all the blue here. So I have one blue. I'm going to put it for Saturday for my main plan with me. And I guess I'll stick it right here because then that leaves the evening open for me to put other things. Oh, but then that's blue. Okay. Let's see. I need, I need another brown over here because I've got the brown here. So we will stick this on Wednesday. What do we have going on? Yes, I have things going on in the evening. So I'm going to put this in the afternoon. And let's see, I'm trying to keep things balanced. So Thursday, oh, I'm not going to have enough. Yeah, okay. Here's what we can do. We can go ahead and just 
do the blue here maybe? All right, we're gonna do a pink down here. I need to commit, and this is one of my like biggest like things, is having trouble committing to what I'm actually going to do. And here's my idea. We're going to go with the blue over here. So we've got the two pinks, we've got that beige, and I'm just going to go ahead with one of the um, super foily ones for Tuesday, just so I can try to break it up a little bit. And I'm gonna stick it up top just so that it's not right next to here, and I don't wanna stick it here and have it too close here. So we will we'll stick it over here, drop it down so it's not completely covering the washi. Okay, good. And to mark off my videos, I always, I like to use icons because it just helps me take a look at something and it catches my eye and keep it consistent. So that's why I use basically the same types of wreaths all throughout. But I'm also going to mark them with some coffee mugs from, so these are from Rose Colored Days, but since I'm Coffee Planner Mom, I want to use, yeah, for my videos, I use coffee mugs. So let's see, I'm, I'm choosing these because they are itty bitty. That's really the only reason. And let's just go with the travel mugs. I'm gonna stick them right down in the bottom corners. Oh, and this is perfect. I didn't even count out the fact that there's five of them. So, and this is in Rose Gold. She has a lot of other colors too, but because we're going with Rose Gold, I'm just using these. So sometimes I like using bigger icons. Sometimes it's the tiny ones that I need. It really just depends. Now I'm just trying to make sure that I have like all of my like plans and cleaning things and all that sort of stuff down. So Monday's done. Tuesday, it looks like all I need to mark off is Towel Tuesday. So um, besides my Instagram post too. Um, but anyway, Towel Tuesday is just, it's something that I had to like coin for myself to make sure that I am remembering to do towels. When was the last time I did towels? So it just, it keeps me on that schedule, on a routine. Um, so that's one of the things that having a planner has really helped with. So this sheet of stickers, they are custom from Lil Annabelle's plans. I do have a coupon code for her shop. It's Brittany25 for 25% off your order. Um, for her scripts, you can get them foiled. These are rose gold, but she also has copper, silver, and gold. Um, she does have some predetermined options you can select, but she also takes requests and does her best to accommodate. And yep, she did Towel Tuesday for me. So we have that right there. And while we're at it, I also have a rose gold meal plan sticker from her that we are going to go ahead and do. I, I feel like I'm going to end up needing to get boxes over here to do my meal planning because last week I kind of struggled with using just the dot grid. So new planner, I'm going to have some growing pains. So I just got to figure that out. All right. And then while I am in this book, we're going to go ahead and use, I, I keep all of her stickers in two different photo albums, one just for her foil stickers and one for her regular stickers. So I just look to see what else I have in rose gold and I have a stack of books and this is to mark off the library. And then I have a birthday that I need to mark off up here, my recipe spread and then movie and trash. Now actually, I'm, this is staring at me. In the farmhouse book, there's these little like squiggly doodle things. God, I sound, squiggly doodle kind of sounds like that one character from The Simpsons. I don't, it's been like a decade since I've seen it, but hopefully you guys know which one I'm talking about. Um, he's like howdly doodly or whatever he says. Anyway, these squiggly doodles. Um, I'm just going to use this to mark off my niece's birthday. So she is turning two. And I'm going to stick it right here and I will just write her birthday up here. I think that'll look cute. Very good. All right. I know I was trying to do movie and trash, but on Thursday, my daughters have their lessons. So the one is in, um, 
golf and the other one is in guitar. So I'm going to take this banner and I'm going to just go ahead and stick it right up here. I know it's covering the washi, but I don't have a whole lot of space because of this. So we're going to use that banner and then there were some bullets and I just need to find them. Here we go, these will work. These will do. I guess maybe what I'll do is I'll go with the blue, yeah, I'll do the blue stars because I've covered up the blue washi. And yeah, so that banner will say lessons and then each of these stars will be to denote the lesson itself and who it is. I mean, not that I don't know who does golf and who does guitar because yeah, that would really qualify me for sarcastic, you know, mother of the year. Anyway, um, I think I like that. I don't know if I like that, but it's there and it's done. I almost forgot about my dentist appointment. So what, I knew that, I had some bunch of stickers on my lap. So what I'm gonna do, it's Friday at 11 a.m. So I'm gonna need to put it like right here. I'm gonna use one of these clocks and I'm just trying to decide which one I want to use. I kinda wanna use blue but at the same time, there's not a whole lot of pink over here. So maybe I should just use the pink. And I will stick it right here. So it is going to straddle the line, but I have the space because I offset this going in this direction. So that still gives me plenty of space over here. I still need to do movie and trash. So I'm gonna do basically a cop out for trash, I think. I think I'm just going to do a bullet icon. I always do those check marks. Is there anything else that I could use? Or were those the only... Oh, that's right. There's these. But that's what I'm using. I use the stars over here. So maybe I will just go ahead. Let's see. I do have the pink. So we'll go with the pink to mark off for trash. If I can get it. There we go. It's one of the benefits of... Yeah, I'll stick it over here. <laughs> Just because I typically put my trash can stickers here, so yeah. But the benefit of nails is it's basically like tweezers when you don't have tweezers. And then for movie night, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these popcorn stickers from Lily Annabelle's Plans. There's the one I wanted to use. This one is kind of like that beige color like I've been using. And it is off of her spring color palette. There we go. So That'll do. And that's probably going to be it for other icons that I pull in from other something other than the farmhouse book. All right. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use that full box that I was talking about at the way beginning. Maybe not the way beginning, but pretty early on in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and try to line it up on the dots. I think that's straight. Put that down there to try to help balance the spread. And then I want to use some of the quotes. All right, so there are two pages of the clear sticker quotes. Now they're not together. This one's at the beginning of the book and then this one is all the way at the end of the book. So I think I'm gonna use this Van Gogh quote. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars makes me dream just because it's the right shape. And then I think I want to use one of the smaller ones up here on Monday because I just, I feel like Monday needs something. Um, I don't wanna use these two. This one is my favorite sticker ever and I was going to use it a while ago but I actually think I'm gonna save it for my birthday spread. And this one just screams Thanksgiving. So that's why I'm not using those. Now the thing is trying to decide where I'm going to put that quote, the Van Gogh quote. And I'm actually kind of looking at Friday evening. I'm struggling to get it off the page. There we go. It is a little bit big. I don't want to stick it over here on Sunday because I already have something on Sunday. It does feel like it's a little heavy, but I don't know where else I would it. I don't know if I particularly want it over here on Saturday. Although I have no decorations at all on Saturday 
and I'm not going to have that many things pop up. So maybe it is better if I stick it on Saturday. I don't know how it's going to look laid over all of that washi though. Alright, I think I kind of like it actually. So maybe we'll leave it. Now I'm going to go back over, like I said, to the other page. And oh, it fell out. That's cool. Makes it easier for me to show you. I'm going to take, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm going to take this one because it is small and skinny. I left this less Monday, more summer down here, and this looks really empty. So we are going to stick this, let's see, trying to get it centered and straight. So both of those are not my forte, but I think that actually works pretty well. And on the other page, there was some decorations that I might end up taking. Now I feel better because I feel like this is a little more like fleshed out. So good, good. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use this Make Today Great since it's going on Monday. This way I still have space to write. Like I wanna be able to decorate my planner and make it pretty. And for the most part, I know what my, come on, there we go. I know what my plans are going to be for the week and not a whole lot of things come up, but I still like to make sure that I have space in case anything does happen. Okay, yeah, that does look pretty centered. And that quote is entirely foil. So it adds just that little extra element. I want to put something else here though. So on the page that I got the Van Gogh quote from, there's two little like, I, I was going to say a floral wisp, but I don't, I don't think that's a very good way to explain it. The only unfortunate thing is it looks like they are both identical. Yeah, they are. It's all right. We will make it work. I'm gonna put this one going here. And I am still going to put this one going here. Just so that it's a little more decorated, which I am loving. Oh, and there is a little something over here too. I think I think I have another page of this and I might be able to pull it out and match yeah okay so there's actually there are two of them and I've used one so here's what we're gonna do where's my washi cutter there it is we're going to take this sticker and we are going to slice it in half with my Fiskars blade trying to that should be good we're just gonna do it in the sticker book just because it's easier than trying to do it on the page. So it didn't even go through, like the, the backing. Oh, there we go. All right, so here's what we are going to do with this, just because I want it to mirror, but I didn't want to take an extra sticker from the other page and have only one of those left. I don't know why I only used one that last time, but whatever. So we're going to put these here so that it is surrounding this quote. We have some surrounding this quote and I think it looks good. I don't know if I want to do anything else. I feel like there's plenty here and there's plenty of white space. Like I have some space here, little space here, plenty of space here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay. I've got enough white space to add in anything, should anything come up. And yeah, I really, I really like this. I'm excited that I was able to use this quote and this quote. Oh my gosh, I use a lot of quotes. Huh, that's fine. So this is going to be my final spread. Make sure you go and check out Tina's page, her Instagram and her channel because she is going to be putting up, actually it is already up, a plan with me for her take on using predominantly the farmhouse sticker book. Doing these challenges like this is so much fun. 
And it also helps because sometimes you can get into like a planning rut and you're not sure what to do. So it's nice to have a challenge like this. I love collabing with people because it's it helps to keep me on my toes and push me out of my comfort zone. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. I'm excited to see what she did. Remember, she is Tina underscore plans. So you can check out her farmhouse challenge. Um, and that's going to do it for my video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos that I have coming up this week. Be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I am at Coffee Planner Mom. And I will see you guys later.